So we're out here. I've got the race rig. I've got it moderately set up how it's going to look on race day. Um, a few a few adjustments. I mean, there'll be a straw coming out of my uh, my jet stream. But basically, this is how it's going to look for the most part when I start the bike. Um, for me, we're talking about race day nutrition on the bike, on the run, in the Ironman. I'm not talking about what I do beforehand, what I did the night before. This is this is the the brass tacks, baby. This is when I get out there. I've come out of the water in a very fast position and I'm getting on the bike and I'm going to go out there and I'm going to ride 112 miles, fuel myself, come off and run a marathon. So my game plan this year, knowing myself and where I should ride, about how much time I should spend on that bike, uh, anywhere from four and a half hours to 445 depending on conditions. So it could be as fast as, uh, quite honestly it could be 410, I mean I could really really smoke it, but we'll say four and a half hours for the average. So for me, I'm planning anywhere from about 2,000 to 2,150 calories. It's kind of a broad range, but if it starts to uh, get really windy, really hot, more than I'm expecting, I'll burn a little more, bump up the calories. That's my goal, four, four and a half, about four and a half hours, about 2,000 calories. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna start off the bike ride with EFS, two scoops of this EFS, but a little bit more than two scoops, so I'll round it up. 92 calories is one scoop. I'm gonna bump that up, so that's, obviously, you're only getting 190, um, 100, I'm sorry, the math is falling apart. It's 96 calories per scoop. So it's 192 calories for two scoops. What I'm going to do is I'm going to double that up. It's going to be 200 calories of EFS in one of these bottles. I'm going to have that twice. So 200 calories here, 200 calories here of EFS. My front bottle is just going to have water. I'm going to start out with 20 ounces of water up here. Uh, the next plan is to use this fancy rigged up bottle that I created. It, uh, it's already been dialed in here with markings. But what I'm going to do with that is I'm going to go away from the flask that the EFS liquid shot comes in. I'm going to fill it up in this bottle. So I'm going to put actually two and a half of these in there. One of these is 400 calories. So two and a half EFS liquid shot flasks equals 1,000 calories. So 1,000 calories comes up to right there. And I'm going to fill the rest with water. So it's going to be sli slightly diluted. A little bit extra water in there for me. This is going to stay here the whole race. I'm going to sip on that the whole race. That's my key bottle right there. So I've got it on my down tube. No chance of launching that thing. Um, additionally, just in case, I will have just about everything I need in special needs bag in case I drop something. Uh, but my plan is to get through the whole bike ride with EFS products. EFS, the drink, and EFS liquid shot. So these two items right here, that's going to carry me through the whole bike ride. I also like to have, and this is a, a, um, a secret, I have a little bit of a candy bar uh, to get me through. So I'll have a little snicker in there just for some hard, um, a little tiny bit of calories. Um, the EFS bar is great. I find that that works very well for me in training, but in races, I like to just notch it back to teeny tiny little bites of Snickers. Um, so that's the uh, missing ingredient. What I'll do then is I'll have two of these bottles at the start of the ride. That's 24 ounces times two, 48 ounces. At the turnaround, when I start coming back, I'll have two more bottles. So that's a total of four of this size bottle of EFS 800 calories total. I'll drink that throughout that four hours. Uh, the 20 ounces of water will be what I consume for the first 30 minutes of the bike ride. So I'll get through that, sip through that in 20 or 30 minutes. Um, and then as I progress, I will take hand ups on course where I will drink water to chase down my EFS liquid shot. This stuff is brilliant. It's created the same way the EFS drink is, um, but it's got a little bit thicker, more viscous. Um, uh, uh, quality, so it's a little bit like a gel, but it's a lot better than a gel. No gelling agent, so it's not going to get gunked up in my system. Uh, so this is basically my plan. If you add that up, that's 800 calories of EFS, uh, 1,000 calories of ES EFS liquid shot, and then my couple hundred calories of Snickers in the Tiny Bites. That's my nutrition in a nutshell on the bike. Um, I'll do this if at any time I drop a bottle or I find that I'm on the bike longer than I thought I would be due to weather, due to my own legs feeling bad. I will take what's up on course. I'll, hand, I'll grab a water, I'll grab a Gatorade if it's there. I know I can tolerate that stuff, especially knowing that this stuff is already in my system, replacing the electrolytes that I've lost. So as I transition from bike to run, um, I, my intent is not to take anything in transition to itself. A lot of athletes will slam down something, uh, hit a gel, hit a shot, hit a liquid. For me, I don't do that. I will finish the last bit of my EFS liquid shot inside of that last 15 minutes as I'm coming into town. So I will have my last probably about 100 calories of liquid shot just before I get off the bike. Coming into transition, what I do immediately is I start again with a bottle like this 
that is empty, I have put empty of water. I put it in my transition bag with 100 calories of EFS. I hand it to a um, volunteer who I say, please fill this with cold water. They fill it with cold water and I'll start the run carrying one of these. I also start the run carrying one of these. So for me, when you see me leave transition, I'll have a cool set of glasses on, but otherwise that's exactly how I look. I'm very comfortable running with this amount of water or fluid in one hand and the liquid shot is something that I train with in this hand. So almost all of my runs I carry a flask just in case I bonk. Um, so I'll start the run and I'll run just like this. Only 100 calories is fairly diluted. It's almost all water. That's a light bit of calories. I will drink this and carry this until it's gone. Usually that takes about a mile and a half. Finish 24 ounces and I'll ditch this at an aid station to a lucky volunteer. Uh, the rest of the run for me I will sip on this every three miles which amounts to around about every 20 minutes I'll have a sip of EFS, a liquid shot. So if I'm running a little faster or a little slower obviously those intervals change a little bit time wise but every three miles is a good gauge for me. Nothing for the first three miles. I hit it is at mile three, nine, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24. I just did the math for you. That's how many three mile intervals there are in a, in a marathon. Um, carrying one of these throughout the uh, run but at the mile 18 special needs station here in Hawaii, I will pick up another one of these to finish myself off. Uh, well, hopefully not finish myself off, finish off the marathon. Um, obviously on course they have other gels and liquid and replacement food replacement drink that they will hand up. I'll take that as I need to, but my primarily, primary goal will be to take this 800 calories worth of EFS liquid shot with a lot of water. Uh, for me, I know that I need six ounces every mile at least. So six ounces every mile is going to come to around about 50 ounces an hour if I'm doing a 630 mile. So that's, uh, yes, I've done the math, so don't, don't bother to check me on that. But what I'll do is I'll go through with a lot of water, EFS, the liquid shot. If I need to, I'll reach to the Encore Strain, Gatorade, or even some uh, cola if that's what I feel like I need. But for me, you may have wondered, uh, geez, I didn't hear Michael mention anything about caffeinated gels or caffeinated drinks. Uh, I'm a big believer in the pre-race. I love pre-race. I used to put a scoop in my water bottle, but I find that with my sensitivity to caffeine, it's too much on race day. I will use it in a tired block of training where I know that I need to push through and my body is bogged down. But for me on race day, to add that uh, very potent boost that comes from pre-race, it just becomes too much and I find myself always making a porta potty stop. We'll leave it at that. Robert can explain the details there. Um, however, uh, I do find that caffeine is quite helpful. So I will have coffee in the morning, it gets me going, and then ultimately I know that at one point in the marathon I will start sipping coke and often, in addition to my 800 calories of EFS liquid shot, I'll snag a, a gel off of a volunteer and it'll have caffeine in it. So that's another uh, usually 25 or 50 milligrams of caffeine. So I'm not overdoing it on the caffeine, I'm trying to just stay really more than anything up on my hydration and keep these calories and electrolytes coming in. So that's it in a nutshell for me. Get to the finish line, avoid the medical tent, hydrate, get some multigen, grab a beer, probably a burger. That's my nutrition in Hawaii.